Enthusiastic applause from around 200 people greeted Benjamin Netanyahu's arrival on Monday morning outside the kosher supermarket of the Vincennes district in eastern Paris. The Israeli Prime Minister was shown the site of Friday's hostage-taking and carnage in homage to the four Jews who were killed. His bodyguards stayed close to him. The visit lasted for around 10 minutes and was appreciated by the local residents. It shows solidarity, this man says. He's right to come. It's reassuring for us. We know we have support. It's heartwarming. Another resident said the most important thing is that everything is made safe. But that will only last for a while anyway. I think the police are going to have to do their job very well and go to the root of this in the urban outskirts. It's a cancer. Not far from flowers left for the victims, that comment referred to fears about extremism and anti-Semitism. Israeli government spokesman Mark Regev had this to say. It was very important for us to make this visit. Uh, first of all, to show solidarity with the people of France, with the government of France, with the people of France, and also, of course, to the French Jewish community, which is, like all of France, also going through a very difficult time. Uh, this is not a, a phenomenon of one or two countries. This is a global threat. And what is crucial is that we take what we saw yesterday, the march of solidarity between the leaders, and we transform that into concrete action, that uh, governments act in a coordinated fashion, uh, in a consistent way, against these Islamic extremists who threaten everybody. French agency AFP reports that President François Hollande did not initially extend an invitation to Netanyahu to come to Paris for Sunday's Solidarity March, nor to Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas, on political, protocol and security grounds of complexity. First they acquiesced, then came anyway. <laughs>